That's not the infinity. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today's video will be back to some detailing basics here. Um, I have my mother's car in here, you guys just saw in the intro there that it's not the infinity. Now, my mom is the type of person that, uh, I should say she hates having a dirty car but she's never vocal about it. Um, and she doesn't, you know, she's not as OCD as I am and she's not as super picky with it. Uh, she definitely does not clean it 24 seven every day. But there comes a point where it gets dirty. I mean, it's a white car. We all know how white and black cars are, but there comes a point where it gets dirty uh, and I see it and I'm like, mom, we, we have to clean this. We have to take care of this. Um, so thus, here we are. Now, the biggest thing that I noticed right away with her car, obviously she has all these areas, the front, you know, it's, it's winter time in Pennsylvania. So you're gonna have all this snow, this salt debris and everything up here, but I noticed her wheels. Look at, look at the, I, I don't know what she was doing. I mean, this is not from snow. This is brown. This is the biggest thing. So we're gonna get the wheels cleaned up first. If I come around to the back here, I mean, you can just see it's all over. I don't know what she was doing, but whatever. We're gonna get the wheels cleaned up. As with every wash, whether it's this car, this car, you always take care of the wheels first and start with that. So we're gonna get the car pulled outside, get it all ready to go, get everything prepped. It's a little cold outside, so I have to go get some warm water, fill up the wheel bucket and get that ready to go. But when we get out there, I'll explain to you what I'm gonna use. Um, I had a little bit of a different product here to try out today. So I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Let's do it. Before we begin, I know I'm gonna have a couple questions on this, so I'll show you guys the setup that I'm using at my house here. This is from Matt Mormon at Obsessed Garage, but it'll be a little sidebar. I have a full video on this. You guys can check it out. I'll put a card up here in the top right corner. Pressure washer, Krenzla pressure washer. We have a 100 foot hose. We have, basically everything's quick disconnected and we have deionized water or regular water. So we have a direct feed of water that comes into here. We can either push it through the deionized water, up around, or we can block off deionized, go right straight to regular water. For this, for my mother, yes, I will use deionized water for her. Um, just because, quite frankly, I hate drying wheels. So uh, I always use the I and I's that way. If I do leave one little drop somewhere, even though they're not $5,000, $10,000 dollars wheels, still take, take the same amount of care into it. So we use the I and I's water. We'll run it through here. Got the gun here. We're gonna be using a 25 degree nozzle instead of a 40 just to really take off a lot of that dirt and grime. So that's kind of what we're using here. You can see it's already pulled out here. We have warm water. Like I said, it's a little cold out, so we have warm water so my hands don't freeze. Let me get the equipment out, we'll show you what we're using here. In here, now I know I don't want to set a lot of this on the ground, so this we'll put this on the hand spot. We'll put applicator brick, microfiber applicator, we have a bunch of stuff in here. Nice stiffer bristle brush in here, we'll set that down. We have one of my favorite products of all time tire and rubber cleaner. This is gonna be a really, really important step in what we're gonna do with the wheels and the tires especially. You got a sprayer for that, obviously. You have some utility towels in here. Wipe off any excess, we'll set that down. And then you have what you guys came for. This is a brand new product from Adams. It's tire armor. So, we're gonna test this today. What this is, where it differentiates, is it's supposed to last a lot longer. Now, it's not a permanent, tire dressing. I always recommend against 100% permanent tire dressings. I just don't like them. I think they're too shiny. I just, I don't think it's a good thing to do to your vehicle. It's just my personal preference. So this is a semi-permanent. So what that basically means in a nutshell is you're going to get a lot longer life out of this product than you would a standard dressing. So it's a silicone free acrylic coating that flexes and expands with the tire. It's semi-permanent, no sling, extremely hydrophobic, non-browning, anti-dust. So we're going to test it out today. See how it does. Some regular car shampoo. We're gonna go through clean wheels. If you guys wanna see an in-depth video on how to clean wheels, uh, I have that. I'll put again a card up in the top right here, but we'll kinda just make our way through the actual wheel cleaning part, the rim cleaning part, I should say, and then we'll go and really focus on the tire cleaning part. We're gonna first rinse down, pressure wash it down, and then we're gonna clean the rubber of the tire first, then we'll clean the wheel, then we'll go back and do the tire armor and go through that process. Now, if you guys don't have a pressure washer, that's okay. You just might have to use a little more grunt work to get it off. A pressure washer really helps, so if you have one, definitely use it. You 
guys can see right there, it's already <laughs> a heck of a lot better. So a pressure washer definitely does wonders if you have it. I mean, if you can tell the wheels ultimately at most 100% better than what it was. Now, before we go through and we clean the wheel, we're gonna use the tire and rubber cleaner that you guys saw. Uh, again, as I mentioned, this is one of my favorite products from Adams. It's one of those things where you don't really realize how dirty your tire is until you use this, even on a brand new tire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this all on the tire and we're gonna let it penetrate for a couple seconds or so. This is the brush that you get with the kit if you decide to purchase the Tire Armor kit. It's a pretty stiff bristle brush. I have my tough brush here. I really like this, A, because it's a little smaller, so it works really well on lower profile tires. And it's, it's a little more stiffer, so you can use either or. This is the most important step. I mean, if you don't clean the rubber of this tire really well, it's just, it's the tire coating, any coating, whether it's a tire shine, tire armor, anything like that, just won't last. It won't last to its fullest potential. You almost gotta think of it as like a coating, right? Whatever you're putting on the car, you want it to be as clean and prepped as possible before you put that coating on. I mean, you can already see here, this is changing color, changing brown. It's really gonna pull off any dirt, anything embedded into the actual rubber of the tire. Really want to get in here, get it cleaned off as best you can. All right, we'll rinse that off. Now the rubber's cleaned, we're gonna use Adam's Wheel Cleaner. If you guys have not used this product before from them, again with their tire and rubber cleaner, one of my favorites. The biggest thing is it doesn't stink. It's not as potent as some of the other wheel cleaners out on the market. It'll still change purple, you'll still see it working. So we're gonna spray this on here to get really deep down in the spokes in here. We're gonna put this on, spray it on, let it sit for about two, three minutes. You guys might be able to see it change in purple here through the camera. There's not a lot of brake dust, so it won't be as heavy. We'll let that sit and I'll just, you know, give you guys a little two second time lapse here. Face the wheel, start at the top. We'll use our little paintbrush, get into the lugs here. So I'm gonna go through, clean the other four wheels, clean the rest of the car, get it all dried off. I don't think you guys need to see that. If you wanna see how to properly wash a car, I did do a video with the McLaren on that. Again, put another card in the top right for you, and then we'll come back and we'll show you guys the dressing the tire part. We're back in the garage here. Let the tire dry as best I can. I went through here at the bottom of the wheel. A lot of water collects in here, so I usually stick a microfiber towel up in there to be able to pull out any water. So the car sat about an hour to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and take our tire armor, and I'm gonna be using the microfiber applicator block. I'm gonna basically spray about four sprays onto the block, and then apply it as you would a standard tire dressing. Again, this is my first time using this product, so we're gonna test it just as you guys would be doing at home as well. It definitely goes on a little different than a tire dressing, that's for sure. I mean, you can see some of the white areas here where it's grabbing some of the imprint of the tire, but we'll just go ahead and coat everything, get all the areas. Again, I did about three or four sprays to start and it looks like it's pretty much soaked up into the block here, so I'm gonna do a couple more sprays, but. Just make sure we massage it in all the areas, get right up to the wheel here. Remember, this is an acrylic. It's not a water-based, it's not an oil-based product. This is meant to last, uh, I would say, a couple weeks, month maybe. 
uh, on a daily driver. Obviously, results are going to vary depending on weather, how you drive your car, how frequent you drive your car. Uh, it's winter time here in Pennsylvania, so this will be a good test of the durability. Uh, if we can get a couple weeks to a month out of it, that's awesome for a tire dressing anyways, because I mean, usually in winter here with how salty and harsh the roads are with the pre-spray, you can really only get like one or two days of driving before you lose your tire dressing. So this should be the perfect product to use, especially in PA here for this season. Obviously, if you put it on your weekend car or anything like that, it's gonna last a lot longer than it would on, you know, a daily driver. So I like a really satin, matte finish so we're not going to go glossy here but out of curiosity's sake again since this is my first time using this I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes or so that is the curing time it doesn't look nearly glossy right now but I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes come back and see how it is again I'm using the microfiber applicator I normally apply tire dressings with a foam applicator so I'd be curious to see the differences of this product uh, with the microfiber versus the foam. It's been about 10 minutes, so second coat, I'm gonna use the foam block just to see how the application is, the ease of application. Hopefully this is a little, little less grabby. I mean, technically it doesn't matter which one you wanna use, it's really preference. Um, it's also gonna depend on your tire profile. If you have a truck and some big knobby treads on there, you'll probably wanna actually spray it into like a little brush and kinda brush it on because it'll just grab everywhere. So we're going to go through and do the second coat. The first coat definitely sucked a lot of it into the tire. So we're going to do a couple sprays on here. You're going to see it definitely kind of uh, get white here like it normally does. Again, that's the product just foaming up. It's an acrylic product, so it's as expected to see this. Get up in here. You're gonna kind of level this out. So you're gonna apply it and just kind of be conscious of, of spots where you wanna definitely make sure you level it out. Think of it almost as a coating, almost. You're gonna go through and really, really wanna pay attention. Make sure there's no high spots, anything like that. And again, the foaming, the white that you see, you can already see it's, it's dissipated as we work the product into the tire. When you get down to the bottom here, don't forget to move your car forward. So when you move your car forward, this will move and you'll be able to get the rest. We'll take care of that at the end. I can definitely see the sheen already. This is more of the look that I like. Second coat, definitely a way to go. If you don't treat your tires very often and it is a daily driver, one coat definitely will not be enough. You're definitely gonna to wanna to do two coats and then if you want really glossy, you'll wanna do a third, maybe even a fourth coat. Again, my first time using this, so I just I wanted to bring you guys along for the testing, my reactions of it. I definitely think my preference is the applicator brick. I mean, this is what I use for regular tire dressings to begin with, so I definitely feel this is the way to go. Again, your opinions could definitely vary. No harm, no foul. Definitely a small difference. It may not look like it on camera, but if I look compared to the front tire, it's definitely more of a flat look on the front tire, which I haven't done yet. Again, this has to cure out. Make sure there's no high spots anywhere. If there are high spots and it's five, six, seven minutes in, you can definitely go in with your applicator brick and go ahead and level it out if you need to, but uh, pretty easy to work with. Just don't fear that white kind of gunking, that foaming up um, that happens. That's totally normal. So we'll let this sit for 10 minutes and then that should be cured and we'll do the rest of the wheels here while we go through and, and this is curing. So by the time you get done with another wheel, one of them will be cured out and uh, then hopefully we have a tire that lasts for a long time. Might be tough for you guys to see, but if you can kind of see just the slight sheen on the tire right there, that's about the look that I like. If I could step back, maybe zoom just a little like that. I, I don't like really, really shiny, super glossy tires. I mean, if you can see on the McLaren here, they're about the same. Just a, a nice kind of, not a flat, but just a little bit of a satin finish to it. Um, that's the look that I like. And so far, that was with two coats. The first one with the microfiber sprayed on there. That was a little grabby, so you saw we went to the foam applicator and then did a kind of heavy coat after about 10 minutes. I have not used this yet. This is a new product, um, but I wanted to try it. I'm gonna make a video, test it out, uh, give some feedback to Adams for it. So hopefully, this if this can last a month, uh, even a couple weeks, I would say, I would, I would shoot for maybe 
two, three, four weeks of heavy winter driving here in Pennsylvania. If that can be like that for my mom, I, I'm a happy camper, she's a happy camper. A lot of tire dressings, the water-based stuff, they, they smell good. This smells like an acrylic, so it's definitely, um, after doing it in the garage here, it's, it smells like you're in a tire shop almost. So just be forewarned on that, make sure if you guys are sensitive to smells and stuff like that, that you wear a mask or a respirator or something. This will wear off, it is semi-permanent, so this will not last forever, keep that in mind. But it should hopefully last a little longer, especially on you guys who have your daily drivers and just wanna make sure your tires look great. With that being said, I will report back to you guys in a couple weeks on mom's car. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Uh, if you guys know, I'm a big Adams fan. I use a lot of their products. Make sure you check them out, adamspolishes.com. I wanted to film this video. I wanted to bring you guys along. I know it's been a little bit since I've done one. So make sure you guys do me a favor and you click that bell icon so you're notified of future uploads. Make sure you click that red subscribe button too. And lastly, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Troy Sowers. I usually post a lot of things, whether it's stories or posts regarding stuff like this, regarding stuff with the McLaren on there before they come up on YouTube. So make sure you follow me there. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.